You know, a couple of days ago on Wager Talk Today, I gave out the Lakers to beat the Wolves, and sure enough, the Wolves took the L. Do I fade them here again against the Sacramento Kings? We'll talk about it here in just a bit. I'm Ronald Cobain from wagertalk.com and themoneyballer.com. Currently the number one overall handicapper at Wager Talk since September 1st. Uh, my all-access clients are actually up 92 units since September 1st between uh, multiple sports, including NBA, uh, NFL, college football, Premier League, all that. So uh, check out uh, wagertalk.com. Um, also at Wager Talk currently, they have a deal going on where you can get a 30-day all-access pass for just $249. That's $8 per day or under $8 per day. That includes 5% plays, which I do actually have one up already for this weekend in the NFL. Currently this year, 12-2 and two in the uh, in in uh, 5% plays, and that's an 85.7% hit rate, the best win percentage for 5% plays over at Wager Talk this year. Um, also, the number one NFL handicapper this season, hitting 69% of my plays. Currently 16-4 and four in my last 20 NFL plays. So check out my capper page, uh, wt.buzz backslash rc. Get that deal. And uh, there's also other premium picks and packages as well as several free plays on the site as well. Uh, let's dive into this uh, matchup between the Wolves and the Kings. Um, let's talk about the Kings first. Obviously, they're, this is their season opener. They're going to be in their home crowd. So that's usually going to be a little bit of an energy booster. Um, Sacramento, last season, they finished top 10 in offensive efficiency. Uh, they, they play a, a fast pace, one of the fastest pace in the league. They did add DeMar DeRozan, um, obviously a reliable uh, scoring option there. Definitely one of the top mid-range scorers in the league. Um, not sure yet how this complements you know, uh, Fox and Sabonis, because I mean, if he's, he, if he's taking place in that mid range, you know, I, I don't, I still don't think that Fox is a legit three point threat. A lot of his work is to penetrate dish or finish at the rim. Uh, Sabonis, obviously he does his thing with his double doubles, but, um, I don't know. I, I it's tough to have your, uh, one of the main scorers be a mid range guy. Cause he kind of doesn't, it doesn't allow it to stretch the floor. So we'll see how that happens, but uh, how that works out for them. But I, I do believe DeRozan is probably one of the more clutch players in the league. Um, and that's one of the biggest things for the Kings last season with that they struggled with was closing out close games. And uh, that's a huge reason why I think uh, DeRozan is going to uh, bring some success to this Kings team. On the opposite side here, they have the Wolves. They're, obviously they're coming off of that loss uh, to the Lakers. I did, I did look at that one. Um, as far as you know, the Lakers side, and uh, I still think that I think there was even more uh, issues that I than I thought. You know, leading into that game, I think the the roster changes that they made, there, there's probably more of an adjustment period than I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, obviously Julius Randle and uh, DiVincenzo in there for uh, for Towns, but um, you know, it, it was mainly the offensive struggles, right? I think what it was was um, you know twice as many turnovers. As the Lakers did, they they also shot very poorly from three. Uh, obviously, that you know stretching the floor was a tough thing for them there. Um, so I guess they need more time to gel. This gives a, the Kings a window really early on in the season to really capitalize in, in this. Um, you know, with with the Wolves having to take some time to gel. So if you think about the Kings, right? I, I talked about earlier how they're known for their fast pace. We do expect that to continue, even with the addition of DeRozan. Um, I don't, I don't see any issues with him running up, uh, running into uh, a mid-range shot right off the bat, you know, within eight seconds or whatever it might be. But, um, I also expect the Wolves to bounce back offensively as well. Uh, I, I know I mentioned their chemistry issues might take time, take some time to gel, but I just feel like overall the effective field goal percentage that they had in that first game, I think that's going to come up a little bit. I think they're too talented offensively to not, um, take advantage of a quick pace, uh, weak defense of the Kings here. So from a total perspective, I think the total is the better way to go in this one. I think the over is the way to go from a side perspective. I do think that, um, yeah, I, th I do think that the Kings as home dogs here, uh, I think that's the way to go. I, I do have a trend um, that I looked uh, that I looked up team uh, teams playing their first game of the season versus teams playing their second game are 30 and 13 against the spread. That's a 69.8% hit rate since 2011. Uh, this trend, that, that backs the uh, the Kings here in this spot. So overall, total, look for a fast-paced, high-scoring game. Uh, from a side perspective, I think the Kings, uh, to open the season at home, I, I think they get the overall, uh, the, the outright win here as dogs. 
Uh, what are your thoughts on this game? Do you agree, disagree? Make sure to leave a comment. Love to hear your angles. Uh, I love to learn from other handicappers. So if you could, um, if you disagree, I would love to hear your your thoughts on it. Um, also, if you enjoyed the breakdown, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click the notification button as well so you don't miss any other breakdowns from any other uh, wager talk handicappers. Uh, once again, head over to wt.buzz backslash rc for free and premium picks and packages. Uh, number one overall since September, number one NFL handicapper. Um, hopefully number one NBA capper uh, this season. So we'll see what happens, but uh, take advantage of those deals over at Wager Talk. Uh, and for your personal betting needs, head over to themoneyballer.com. They have all the stats, trends, and insights you need uh, to make informed betting decisions. Uh, you can use promo code RC50 to get 50% off your first billing cycle over at themoneyballer.com. Um, it's my main source for handicapping. It's a big reason why I've had success in the NFL and last season in the WNBA. Uh, also um, in the NBA as well as we lead up to it. So uh, check it out, themoneyballer.com. This is the end of the video, guys. Whether you fade or follow, it's on you to make that call. Good luck with all your actions. Till next time, peace.